Hello, welcome back to Fighting 50. Today I'm going to give you a little hotel tour of where I'm staying. I did a get ready with me in my last video, so you could check that out. And this one, I'm just going to show you what a cool and amazing place. I never expected it to be as pretty as it was. Like I knew it was going to be pretty because we're staying on the coast, but I didn't expect it to be what it is. So uh, let me take you for a tour. Staying at the Ritz Carlton Santa Barbara. So this is the front of the our hotel room and then this is a little atrium that's right outside the door. It's very, very calming. You feel really like soothing and relaxing. It's a very Spanish style, like Hacienda type architecture. So this is outside our room. It's just incredible. That's our room. And this is outside. Here's where we had our beautiful dinner, and then this is the resort, this is the view, and this is the path that leads all the way down to a private beach. It's literally spectacular. It's the most relaxing place you could be at. And these rooms are facing the ocean and the trail. The blue skies are coming. This is from down at the ocean. We walk down the trail. It's very overcast today. Yesterday cleared up, but it's early in the morning, so I'm sure it will clear up in a little while. Heading back to the room. To go to lunch. Yes, I'll come back to you. Then I'll ask, What have we done under the sun? such a beautiful park nature like it's so relaxing it's everything that we needed after such a stressful month that we went through to be able to enjoy this incredible getaway what a blessing 
So this is one of my favorite places on the property. This is a great Mexican restaurant. The food is amazing. This is an amazing little cafe. It looks so European. Like you're in Italy or in Europe somewhere just enjoying a cup of coffee. It's so quaint and cozy and cute. And I love the name, First Drop. So appropriate. <laughs> just enjoy this delicious latte. So the cafe is so cute. They have a lot of little tasty choices. This is such a beautiful area. So it's all like little, um, buildings that have there's just like separate little villas going to lunch right now can't wait the food here has been incredibly delicious So the property is about 76 or 78 acres is what I was told and every last bit of it is just gorgeous. There's so much beachfront private area to lounge and enjoy and there's 378 rooms. There's little nooks and areas to sit everywhere on the property. It's just amazing. It's one of the beautiful views of the ocean and the pool. Today, this morning, it's a little overcast, but yesterday it was gorgeous. Cheers. <laughs> smells good. I think that the best parts of this trip and of the hotel was the location is incredibly beautiful. There's so many things to do, not only in the hotel, but around the hotel. So it's definitely, there's hiking trails, there's the ocean, there's uh, bicycles. There's just so, so much to do. There's obviously the little town of Santa Barbara that you could go in and explore there as well. So, or you could just stay at the resort because there's so much to do at the resort. Um, the things I didn't like about the Ritz-Carlton Santa Barbara, the number one thing was the beds were horrible. Like, uh, definitely not up to Ritz-Carlton standard that I've ever stayed at and I've stayed at quite a few of their hotels. The beds were bad, very bad. They sunk in and there was just like, it just was horrible. 
Um, the other things that I didn't enjoy was the fact that the cafe closed at 3 p.m., which I think was ridiculous because what if you're checking in, you know, at 2 or 3 in the afternoon and you want to grab a coffee? You can't. It's closed. Uh, if you want a late night coffee because you want to go explore the town, you can't. You have to go to town to get your coffee. The fact that in the room you could only have espresso and it only gave you the small shot. You couldn't make a regular cup of coffee. Um, I didn't like the fact that there was nothing open in the entire hotel if you wanted to run and grab, let's say, some gum or a little bag of chips or a little snack. There's nothing and no place in the entire hotel to do that. There's no, um, the, even there, the, caf the little cafe that closes at three doesn't have the usual array of candies and chips and stuff to munch on, nuts, nothing. It just has a small amount of things. There's no gift shop. There is no uh, convenience store. There's nothing for you to go buy something at. The food was excellent. So the food was... the. We tried almost all of them. So the food was spectacular. The Mexican restaurant, incredible. All, all the food was delicious, every last bit of it. A lot of it I didn't get to film because I ate it before I filmed it. So uh, I didn't get to show it to you, but the food was good. And um, was there anything else that we did it, disliked? No. The service was good. Everybody was friendly, sweet, kind. Um, overall, I would definitely come back for sure. If you like cooler weather and you want to hike, come early June. If you like warmer weather and you want to really soak in the sun, I would definitely come in July or August, even September. So that's my take on the hotel. So I hope you enjoyed my hotel tour of the Ritz-Carlton Santa Barbara. If you've ever been here, comment down below or if you're interested in going and it's something that's been on your bucket list, also comment down below. Um, subscribe and thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. God bless.